Well, it's a chance to experience the culture of many nations. Today, marking the return of La Fiesta del Pueblo here in downtown Raleigh, and it's the Triangle's largest and most diverse festival of Latin American culture. Our Anthony Wilson with a moment to take it all in. Return of La Fiesta del Pueblo to downtown Raleigh's cause for celebration. Fayetteville Street's the place to be. It feels great. Proud day to be Hispanic, Latina. Woo! -hoo. So much to see and do with the opportunity to experience culture from many nations where Spanish is the primary language spoken. Those roots are in Sienna Ochoa's family tree. So my mom's parents are from Puerto Rico and then my dad's from Ecuador. We saw lots of activity at this table where people got answers to questions about citizenship, educational opportunities, and more. I'm an immigration attorney focusing on humanitarian matters. And you've been very busy today. Uh, I have been uh, providing individuals with uh, information about possibilities, hoping that they all get a consultation um, and understand what those possibilities are. Because for those who live and work here now, there's joy in the air as they enjoy occasions like this while mingling freely on the last weekend of summer. Full citizenship remains a goal for many, and Jenny Doyle's happy to help. My mother herself um, came to the United States with $50, and she, uh, she was able to open a business in Houston, Texas, and I was able to um, take advantage of educational opportunities, and today I feel like um, we've come full circle. And for those who need a little assistance getting around on this day, there is a handy guidebook that's bilingual. But there's no need to look very far for a food truck. Pick your favorites or sample something new. I haven't tried the food yet, but it's Hispanic food, so it's going to be amazing. Reporting from Raleigh, Anthony Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.